All right, number uno. I see all that wire back there. Yeah, we'll go grab that. Yeah, we are. There we are. Let's grab all of that. Big old rat's nest of it. We'll take it. It's a nice clipboard. Ah, look at all these empty camera boxes though. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I didn't dress for the occasion, y'all. It's a little cool. I think it's supposed to get cooler. And all I got is my shorts. But we'll make it happen, man. We'll make it happen. there not a whole lot I think most of it was sitting right on top which is where I like it all right all right y'all all right I already know what that is that's server rack shelves I already got somebody down by those all day long oh all day long cut Yep, that's what those are. They're brand new, cute. Brand new. It's just kind of, we'll just kind of pilfer around with the stick. I don't really see nothing. Sometimes we'll be finding cameras and such up in here. Oh, I see some wires. All right, well, you know me. I ain't scared to get in. That's what we do. That's a good box. Actually, could use that box. Got some stuff to ship. Oh, that's not even wired. Jump in for that. Ended up grabbing something else. It's all right. All right. Close it back. Server rack shelf, yeah. <clears throat> what up, dumpster flowers? It looks like there's something under all these boxes of stuff. Check it out, huh? Oh, you're a big tall one, but we'll get in there. We'll get in there. Hey. Looks like a chair, y'all. Got us a dumpster chair. Little scrappy scrap, man. There's a uh, a leaf for a table. See, that's you know, not. If it were solid wood, I'd probably do something with it. But it's just uh, cheap cardboard crap. All right. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got another big blue one, y'all. Vodka bottles. Look at a little scrap. Vodka bottles, man. Let's see. Oh. I don't know if my stick's gonna reach it. I don't know if this stick's gonna reach it. Let's see. There's like one way back there. Oh yeah, that's aluminum. what it is yeah these are this good scrap right there <laughs> I 
I need that little grabber. I still got it. Ugh. Although those are a little bit heavier than typical fans. <laughs> too special. Look at that blue fan. They're all real dusty and such. Uh oh, nothing new. Golly, man, three bottles of McCormick's. Ooh, somebody over here. And I, get, I guarantee all these coffee cups, they've been drinking that out of the, at their desk, man. Whoever works here is an Alki. An Alki. I see cords and stuff and more hoses and more stuff. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh there wasn't nothing expensive in that box. Just crushed the crap out of it. Oh, there's those little concentrated things. More of them. Oh my. With more hoses. Those are worth taking because the battery for one. Because they actually have some value to them. I'll take those guys. Oops. Alright. This is what I want right here. These. Oh, these regulators. That's got some value to it. There's a bunch of them in here. Oh, there. Box right there. Oh. Don't flip over on me, man. Yeah, there goes some more. Yeah. All down to the bottom, baby. good stuff right there. All good stuff. With this leg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is this? It looked like a phone, but it's not. Another bag. Be finding those left and right. Yeah, these right here. God, look at all these regulators. Oh, that's medical grade stuff right there. Good stuff. All right, let's. This bag is heavy. And you know, people have been telling me that these things cost thousands of dollars. And they find them here. Oh, that's another one of those. Prescription only. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with that stuff. I don't want to, I mean, and people even said, you know, they have them for sale. You can buy them on Craigslist and stuff where they're at. I'm just not into selling used medical equipment. It's not my jam. It's just not my jam. But yeah, they say these are, these little Red Meg, ResMed air sensing. $6,000 is what they said. I mean, I'll take their word on it. I don't know for sure, but just that much. There's another bag. I don't know what that is. We'll take a look at it. Whoa. Get us a box here. Another box. A box of all boxes. Oh, yeah, a lot of boxes in here. Lots of boxes. More bags. 
This one's got, got one in it too. We'll take a closer look at it. Like I said though, really not into even doing that sort of thing. Dream Station, BiPAP. I don't even know what a BiPAP is. BiPAP. BiPAP, BiPAP. Okay. No more of those regulators, huh? Okay. All right. A couple of things, a couple of things. We'll kind of look at those a little bit in the morning. Oh, it's getting a little nipply out here, y'all. There's a little there. Looks looks like aluminum. Let's see what we got here. I think somebody's home, so could be very, very gentle. Very gentle. Alright. All right. Let's see what we got. Right. That's no good there. Oh, I don't think that's aluminum. It looked aluminum-ish. I'm a deus. <laughs> Good movie though. Watch your hair, watch your hair. Alright, I'm a deus. Oh, there's some more CDs. Live, Guns N' Roses, Lincoln Park. Are they in there? Yeah, they're in there. Okay. Bush. Santana. This is live. Some CD. <laughs> Playing the truck. <sighs> Van Halen, baby. Tossing out Van Halen. Y'all can't be doing a. Can't be doing Van Halen that way. All right. You just can't. <sighs> Shoo. Shoo -shoo -shoo. All right, what we got up in here? This is all rope packing. Ugh. Boy, that stuff's worth some money too, to the right person. There's a bunch of it in here too. Look at all that. This is all like, what I, the same stuff like I used to work at the oil field, working on pumps. Basically, we would use this square. This is square rope packing is what they call it. We'd get the stuff from Utex. But yeah, a plunger would go in there. And uh, that's a watertight seal inside of a stuffing box. And this, uh, you have your packing gland and it's full of it. I mean, and this is probably, probably a couple thousand bucks right in here, dude. But there's no way I can sell this. I just can't, especially like with the oil field these days. Everything requires like NPRs and certs and stuff. But I mean, look at this, full of this rope packing. Y'all let me know though if uh, y'all can think of anything that I could use it with. I'd come back and get it, but I really, really don't know. Yeah, y'all can stare a little bit more. I don't care, man. I'm just a dude digging in the trash. All these cars driving by slow, looking at me like, look at this clown. Ugh. Yeah, that's expensive stuff right there. Very expensive stuff, but it's very specific, so. But I'll take what I can. <laughs> oh. All right, we got three here. Three. Three dumpsters. Oh, yeah.
Got a hard hat. Anybody need a hard hat? <laughs> oh, there goes something. Yes, please. Got some stick. Metal stick. That was a big old long metal stick. Right, metal sticks. Yeah. I think that was about it, huh? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Door kind of caught me there. Well, the lock only works if you, uh, you know, you lock it. <sighs> That's all right. Maybe they purposely left it open. So, us uh, uh, scrap guys, get it here. Get it. <sighs> Back to it. Flies with some bowels and such. That's the name of the game. Oh yeah. How much here? The heck is that? Metal. Huh. All right, all right. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and lock it back like they had it. Make it look like there's a lock on it, I guess. Oh. Kind of rolled by here. I saw a little something shiny, shiny. What we got here? I doubt that's brass, but it's brass. And... Is that what? Is that a blanket holder? Is that what that is? Uh, got a hair dryer. A little scrappy scrap right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice, man. Pretty fancy. That's that rich people stuff. Having brass things or hang your brakes up, man. That's a lot of boxes. <sighs> yep. But I tell you what, that ain't no brass. That's brass plated. It's pretty though. I'm guessing that's for blankets, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll take it though. I'll most definitely take it. Yeah. Oh man, we got us a big old open top. <laughs> Can't even reach the top. What's that? A eight footer, ten footer. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, ooh, there goes a the light. We can grab that most definitely. Get that over here. Let's see. That's just some stuff. All plastic. Whatever happened to real stuff? There's a piece of something that's real. <laughs> really? What happened to the real stuff? There's a little something, something right there. Plastic. Uh, we got a cord. It's all plastic. It looks like good stuff, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's long. 
piece right there. If they I'm finding there, like I'm hoping to find like some aluminum, but we're not finding none of that. Just some steel. Just some plastic. Bunch of crap, crap. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright. Get our light though. It's a good looking light. <sighs> All right, we got us a big blue up at top. I think awesome happening up in here. This is the one that had those little desks that you put in your car. Hold on, we got to get up in here. I think I seen something. Ugh. I think I seen something. Oh yeah, look at that. They got some stuff. Pans and such. I see a sink though. Drop it down nice and gently. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Look at that. That's what I want. Uh, big old sink right there. Uh, nice and heavy. Uh, that's how I like them. This box. Uh, you can grab it on something. Uh, gosh. That's a heavy old sink right there. Uh, I thought I killed something. Jeez, Louise. Oh. Boy, that's a heavy sink. Golly, that thing is heavy. Gonna let it go. I was trying to like not make that happen, but it happened. It happened. All right. All right. Let's move along. We got a phone number. Ann's home phone. Baby. All right. Cheers. Man, I wish I didn't drop that sink, but I did. It's really heavy, though. Very, very heavy. <sighs> yep. Yeah, they done been rained on now. <sighs> but apparently, these are little uh, workstations you put in your car. You have your little spot for your laptop and all your mouse and all this stuff. And they're expensive. Oh my gosh, they're expensive. Not anymore though. Got all wet and stuff. All right. Auto exact, baby. They're still here. But these are from a couple weeks ago, so you know they ain't no good. Whoa! Whoa! Getting tripped up. All right. All right, man. Another dumpster. Not much happening up in here. I do see a little bit of scrap though. Let's see what we got here. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, that's the uh, the dreaded uh, wall stud. Really? Well, I'm behind a lighting place. I thought there would be some lights or something, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Oh, shoot. <sighs> boo boo. Yeah, empty. Like my soul. So empty. We got another one over here that check out, though. What we got here, y'all? That thing's full. Easy, y'all. Some heavy duty oven and grill cleaner. We got a basket with hand sanitizer. Hopefully, it's not from Mexico, though. We don't want none of that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's heavy. What the heck is in this box? Oh. Black gold, baby. Fire roasted coffee. Oh, those are beans. There's a whole box of beans right there. 1850. All right, got some hand sanitizer, a little basket, a little uh, grease on. Oh, look at that, there goes the coffee pot. To go with the coffee, and brew our stuff up. A little pizza. Man, that sounds good right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's getting a little late. Slice of pizza, man, big old slice of pizza sounds good. Pepperoni and cheese. Oh, maybe a couple breadsticks. <laughs> yeah. Got another one over here. That's some scrap right there. What is that? Another cage. All metal. Oh. Oh. Holy cow, that's heavy. Uh. Mucho heavy. Get that out there. I don't know what would one put in that. Scrap. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Scrap. Well, all righty, scavengers. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? All right. Anyways, uh, a somewhat successful evening. Wasn't the best of evenings. Definitely not the best of evenings, scrap-wise. We definitely had to work for it. I put some time in and some miles on the truck last night. <laughs> and uh, this is all we got to show for it. Not too much, but we still got some stuff. Uh, got us a little metal basket over here. Probably just scrap it out. This is probably something that uh, that uh, oil fill parts or whatever would be shipped in. And uh, this type of crate. Just a cheap cheap metal crate over here. Got a little, uh, like I said, I think a bl blanket or towel holder over there. I put a magnet on it. Like I said, it ain't brass. It's whatever. Uh, back here, got our little bit of scrap back there. Got our big old heavy sink right there big old iron sink our coffee pot got some hand sanitizer back here get my sanitizer hand, hand sanitizer all right Let's grab that real quick get that one before it breaks everywhere yeah we got our big old sink back here got us a light over here I'll plug it in and see if it works. Odds are it doesn't. It was thrown in the trash for a reason. Uh, I think the first dumpster we hit, or the second, uh, we found these uh, server rack shelves. Brand new, good shape. Uh, definitely, or I already got a home for those. Got a little bit of cat wire up in here. Use that in our box. 
Let's see, um, the ResMed stuff, this OxyGo, I think is what it's called. Yeah, little portable oxygen machines. There's scrap value to that. I grab, grab this guy, the Dream Station. I actually Googled this. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks this thing costs. In the trash. In the trash. Crazy, crazy expensive this stuff this costs. But yeah, a couple more of these Oxy Goes. Got some bags. I think this is the same thing here. This is just all together. New simplified menus. Phillips, Respironics. Yeah, these things are really expensive. And you know what? It's not even that they're like, they're probably not even like really that expensive. They're just medical stuff. Medical stuff in the United States sucks because it's so expensive. But yeah, there's another one, Dream Station Bipap. I mean, it's still got the little plastic thing covering it. Crazy, crazy, in the bag with a cord. But like I said, I really don't like to sell uh, medical stuff. I've sold a couple of these uh, in the past to people who, you know, they say they're going to buy them and, uh, you know, take them apart and use them as parts and stuff, but I'm not going to sell these to someone that's going to use them for medical purposes. Just ain't going to do it. I mean, it's unethical and illegal, you know what I mean? Especially when they say prescription only on them, so. But yeah, we grab them, the bags, get a couple bucks for them. These, I don't know if there's a whole lot of scrap value to them. We'll check it out. I mean, if somebody wants to buy them for parts or whatever, hit me up. Uh, also in that dumpster, this is what I was really after here, is all these regulators, man. Good quality aluminum right there. You take them apart, you got some clean aluminum. As it sits, aluminum breakage. Still good stuff. Uh, these are pro. I mean, they're probably still good. I mean, out of all these, there's probably a couple of still good. So, and then these, these are the little canisters. They have like sand in them. This is what what you see right here inside there. The bigger concentrators have the same things. They've got like two in there but they're really big canisters these are little smaller ones but you can still scrap those out aluminum there but yeah look at all that man good stuff good stuff all right moving along garage sale over here got our cds amadeus guns and roses sympathy for the devil that's tom cruise sucking on somebody's neck must have been from an interview with the vampire. Let's see, live. Yeah, we got Van Halen. People throwing Eddie Van Halen in the trash. You can't be, you can't be doing that, man. Yeah. But yeah, free CDs. Cracks me up though. Like uh, I've been watching the. Uh, ooh, that's a good one. The Hybrid Theory, Lincoln Park. Some good stuff on there. Uh, been watching the Storage Wars lately. Thank God I don't buy storage units. Jeez. Luckily, luckily for me, like, my storage unit's a dumpster. So, like, I go to the dumpster. I pick out what I want and leave the rest. Them storage people that be buying them storage lockers, they got to take all that crap with them. So, and I get luckier than a lot of them, too, you know. But it cracks me up. It's like they'll, what they value their stuff. It's ridiculous. Like, oh, yeah, you know, we can get three bucks for a CD. It's like, yeah, right, dude. I can't even get 25 cents for a CD, you know what I mean? I personally like these because, you know, I'll take what I can off of them put them on the uh on the itunes or on the the uh, iphone or the mp3 player or whatever and uh you know listen to it in the truck but i do have a cd player in the truck but people just don't buy cds anymore there's our hand sanitizer oven cleaner uh calendar trash got some uh, garage sale stuff some pans got a pot i got a pot it's stainless so that's I mean that's a plus uh, mesh laundry bag I guess this is what like a little fruit basket for your fruit probably get 50 cents to a dollar for it the Twilight that's a cool mug Mickey Mouse Disney Twilight Zone um, 25 cents garage sale dog bowl maybe another 25 cents a little cat maybe a cat or a small dog feeder you know 50 cents uh that's probably just trash there 
see what we got here. It feels like silverware. Yep. Ah. Ain't gonna get much for that. But scrap, trash, and some potato chip clips for your potato chips. And then our coffee. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 1850 black gold. This one's already open, so. Mmm, it smells good, though. Fire roast is dark. Dark chocolatey. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try some of that. Oh, Mike gonna be brewing up some coffee. I'm gonna be pepping in my stepping, you know what I mean? But uh, anyways, yeah, all in all, like I said, you know, not the most successful evening, but I mean, it is what it is. We still managed to come back with some stuff, pick up a little bit of scrap, and uh, you know, yeah. But uh, alrighty, well, hey, that's gonna do it for this episode of Dumpster Diving. I'm your host with the absolute most, Mike the Scavenger. As always, it was a total pleasure. Appreciate y'all tagging along on this journey of finding epic stuff in the urban jungle. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your peeps. Uh, Instagram, got one, check it out, hit me up. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, shout out to everybody who bought some merch, appreciate that. Uh, if y'all are interested, down below, Teespring, get y'all some stuff, help out the scavenger. But anyway, uh, yeah, the weather is beautiful. I mean, it's a little chilly this morning, but I mean, it's gonna warm up nice. Uh, we'll try to get back out there again and then just continue filling up this truck and, uh, you know, get that money. Oh, yeah, and a side note, the uh, aluminum fan blades, people were asking about that. Yeah, I went and scrapped them out. I don't really like, I mean, I filmed some of the scrap runs, but I don't want to film everything because I really don't want to put all my business out there, uh, especially like with, you know, I mean, finances and stuff, you know, I mean, that's my business. But anybody, or, uh, I mean, uh, I saw a bunch of people were interested about the fan blades. Uh, I think I got like 83 or 84 bucks for them. So not bad right there. Actually really good. You know, that whole scrap, this whole scrap run just from the last video, I think it was like 130 bucks or something. So yeah, I mean, that trip paid for itself, but then you got trips like this that maybe pay for themselves, but you know, you know. but yeah, that's what I got on those uh, big aluminum blades, like 83, $84 or whatever. And it took me all of what, five minutes to get them out. So. You know, 80 bucks, five minutes. That's some, that's some pretty darn good math if you ask me. But uh, anyways, all right, well, we're going to see y'all on that next video. Be there or be square. What we got here, y'all? Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy.